Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today, I have a new video for you. And of course, you guessed it, it's a new get ready with me. So because I have had so much new product coming into me, I decided why not film another get ready with me and show you guys how the products work on my face. If it looks good on me, if it worked out, if it didn't leave me oily, if it didn't crease up on my face, then that to me means the product works pause okay guys so i'm back because i had a phone call and i finished up my hair so <laughs> if you see me different that's what it is also don't mind luna um i have her here because yeah she's just chilling <laughs> say hi 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 <laughs> Long story short, I um, finished up my hair because if you have not checked out my um, Sephora VIB sale haul, I did go ahead and get a Dyson Airwrap. I will have my haul linked down below. I'm really enjoying it. I need to get the hang of it. I still can't use the barrels. Um, I'm going to have to check out some YouTube videos and really try to get the hang of it. So let me stop chatting. I thought we would go ahead and get ready with some new items from my Sephora VIB sale haul as well as other items that I have hauled. I'm very, very excited to try this new Lisa Eldridge foundation. Yes, guys, I bit the bullet and I bought it. So what is very unique about this is the actual bottle. As you can see, it's ergonomic, I think is what, how you say the word. My whole gripe is how to store this because, okay, yeah. So maybe I'm gonna have to store it like this. We will see. I got it in the shade 10, but before I do that, let me go ahead and get my primer on. I'm gonna take my Milk Hydro Grip. This is a sample size that I have. read you the claims for this foundation this intelligently formulated skin friendly foundation has a customizable medium coverage that can be i'm assuming dialed up or down yeah dialed <laughs> self-setting it blends effortlessly to smooth and unify skin with a noticeable soft focus effect the formula contains a natural mesh like ingredient which completely fuses with skin after blending the final finish is neither dewy or matte, but something skin-like and in between. I'm more of a matte coverage kind of gal because I have oily skin. I have mentioned that in several videos, but um, yeah, let's go ahead and try this. So what I'll do is I'll do half my face with a sponge and then half my face with a brush. Oh shoot, I gotta hurry up. This is so setting. Oh, oh. I forgot. Let me take my Makeup Geek brush. This is a buffer brush. Ooh. Color looked a little bit too like olivey, but now I think it looks good. Taking the Stands Out sponge now. I did not apply as much foundation on this side as I did this side, so let me go ahead and put a little bit more and then use the sponge. This is my favorite sponge, you guys, because you do not need to wet it. I actually think it applies way better when it is not wet than when it is wet. Uh, I have that dot right there. And I think that is due to me not blending on time. I feel it's already dry. It is definitely a medium coverage because I can still see my freckles peeking through. It's smoothing, definitely. This is definitely a medium coverage foundation. So I don't have a new concealer, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take this Rare, Rare Beauty concealer. Let me contour. I'm going to take this Danessa Myricks Cream Bronzer in light. Okay, 
Okay, so I'm done with this and guys, I have some thoughts. I've tested this out a few times now and I really, really need to dig into this to try to get some payoff. Maybe it's the color, I got it in light. Maybe I needed a medium shade, but I do really need to dig into it with my brush and I am not going in lightly. I am digging into this to try to get payoff. It does dry fast and it doesn't um, spread so easily. I feel like it's a lot of work to, for me to try to get this blended. Like that side looks good. This side, struggling. I'm gonna go ahead and take the cream blush here. It's my favorite way of putting on cream blush. Um, gotta dig into it, guys. It took a lot of work for me to dig my brush in it. Maybe next time I will use a sponge and see if I get good payoff that way. So with this color, I actually feel like I could get the darker shade too and it'll work. Um, so that may be in the future. Okay, so let me set my under eyes and I'm going to take my Nakia Joy Cosmetics Pressed Powder. I just got this and this will be the second time I use it. Um, I do have the loose powder too, but I just want to really set my under eyes because my concealer always always creases underneath my eyes i'm gonna take it up my nose area as well because this is my problem area the t-zone take it on my forehead and my chin when i tell you this smells delicious i feel like i'm having like vanilla ice cream i'm gonna go ahead and take star glow as my highlight Ooh. Go in gently. This is pigmented. Oh, but that's beautiful. Okay, now I'm going to be glowing like crazy. You guys see that glow? Right, guys, I just used my good old Anastasia brow powder in Ash Brown. I love this stuff. I have had this for years and as you can see, got a pretty good dip in there. One thing, you guys can see all the handprints up in this thing. Ugh. Okay, and I'm not removing the film. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do an eye look. I used that one as well on the top 
and then I used smoke for underneath my lower lash line and then I did a little bit of a smoke underneath on the top and then I used outer corner to put right here in between my um outer corner and my inner corner and then inner corner I used for the inner corner of my eyes so Every single shade has been used. This is a beautiful, natural look. Let me go ahead and finish my eye look. I have this Makeup Geek eyeliner that I just got, and it is a brown eyeliner. I really have been enjoying this. It is. It does, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It does bleed a little in my outer corners, but I cannot find an eyeliner that does not do that for me but it is good and it stays put um the whole day then i have this new m cosmetics pick me up volume mascara that is what the wand looks like plastic and let's go in oh it is grabbing every single hair i can feel it grabbing every hair which is awesome it is definitely wow separating my lashes really nice i am blessed with some naturally long lashes so when i grab a mascara i look for more volume but i don't like when my lashes are get clumpy so that really bothers me and this is grabbing every single hair i'm not seeing too much volume though but i am seeing a really really nice separation it is not clumping my lashes at all wow that is beautiful let me do my lower lash line last but not least let's do the the lips so i'm gonna take this mac rosalia collection this is the liquid lip though halea i believe so yes halea so halea is like a jam so neutral shade beautiful red cap let's go ahead i'm not putting any lip liner on This is the first time, by the way, that I try a black liquid lip. So, check out the bottom, and I will give you my final thoughts on this liquid lip, if I actually like the formula or not. This is it, you guys. This is the final look. Oh, I am in love. I am in love. Look at my lashes. My face looks so nice. That glow of that highlighter. Okay, so what are my final thoughts on this Natasha Glam Palette? A plus, A, A plus. This is a perfect palette to take with you if you go traveling. Um, you have your eye look, you have your highlighter, you have your blush. The only thing that is missing is your bronzer and grab a small compact and you're good to go. This is beautiful. I'm contemplating getting the other shade because i just really enjoyed this this would give you the perfect natural look the cream blush though i do want to try a different method i feel like with the brush it took me a little bit of time so the next time i try this palette out i'm going to try it with the sponge and see if i get better payoff and not so much of digging into that product but other than that you guys everything else looks good my base the Lisa Eldridge foundation looks flawless, looks so smooth. I'm impressed. Okay, you guys, that's it. Let me know what you guys thought of this look. Let me know if you guys picked up anything from the Sephora VIB sale haul. I will see you guys in my next video. Please consider subscribing. Thank you so much for all the love and the support. Mwah.